Good morning, good morning, crypto enthusiasts. An interesting couple days it's been, and we have some very interesting things to draw attention to. Um, it does look for the moment that uh, alts are holding quite well. Um, Bitcoin is continuing to look concerning. Uh, Dogecoin is a meme. Uh, Elon Musk is getting shaken out. Tesla has a lot of questions about future profitability. <laughs> and the crypto market is just hum hum humming along so uh really quick uh <laughs> we've got 60 subscribers over on youtube it's pretty funny um go ahead and hit the subscribe you know if you want to hear uh crypto news updates uh no hype no doge five million percent nonsense um we're looking at ranges, we're looking at where ranges might go, we're looking at old charts to see how they've aged. If you're into that stuff, stick around. Um, so the big the big chart we've been looking at, the big boy, is this concerning April 20th, old 420. We look at the chart and we say, hey, this does look kind of concerning, like there's a potential massive Bitcoin retrace that could happen. And we said, hey, you know, if that does happen, we expect to see it on this sort of dotted black line. There was a little bit of back and forth. This is a weak chart, so it took a while to get some stuff on here. Um, but, but, uh, when you update this, it actually gets kind of gnarly. Um, and we've broken the bullish trend line. We've broken multiple lines of support. Bitcoin currently trading at 43,000 is not good, not great. Um, interestingly enough, it does put us into the top side of my uh, accumulation buy zone, um, which goes all the way down to 16,000, depending. And who know? I mean, it's hard for hard for me to tell uh, if we're in a bear market at all, let alone where it will go. Um, but that, I mean, these numbers are kind of what I was looking for, for confirmation of this bearish trend line. Um, and it seems to be here. Uh, so I wouldn't say that's cool. Um, it's always nice when the chart is right. However, uh, myself, like a lot of others, would probably prefer that uh, Bitcoin continue to do well. Um, it's easier to make money when things go up. And, you know, of course, there's still opportunity for Bitcoin to settle on 40,000 and pump again and possibly even reclaim this trend line, though. I'm starting to wonder if, uh, you know, we're reaching that point where time is kind of the enemy of the parabolic movement. I mean, if you scrunch this in even smaller, you see what I'm saying about this just being ridiculous movement um, on Bitcoin. And you know, probably a little bit of, little bit of uh, asset deflation coming out now. So uh, always important to keep an eye on. Let's head over to uh, Anchor. Uh, we'll do XLM after that. Um, Anchor is a coin that we've been watching. We like that it got added to uh, Coinbase. A uh, huge opportunity for retail money to flow in. Uh, cheap stuff has been a good bet on Coinbase over the last couple years, and frankly, we don't need our crypto arguments to get more complicated than that. It's something we're looking at. Uh, we published this chart May 4th, said as long as we're up, I'm averaging in. Um, obviously, we are not up anymore, um, but we are sitting right in this sweet spot that I was hoping for. Uh, some good buys. Um, 13 cents a piece will get you a lot of anchor for a good amount of money. And, uh, you know, the potential that we go down was really just looking at other potential rebuys. Um, but it's it's challenging right now to make decisions on what to do. Um, you know, if Bitcoin rockets up back to 60,000 um, while alts have held, we might see alt explosion. There's all sorts of wild things that could happen um, in the next couple of days. I know I'm always saying the next couple of days, the next couple of days always determine the chart. So we'll see where things go from here. Uh, a lot of different potential. Um, again, you know, let's actually just let's let's hop into the 
let's hop into the chart let's check it out and if we look in the chart you don't have any where where are my things where are my where are my where are my things ah uh, what did I want to do here what so 11 to 19 cents I really wanted to come over a chart just for that let's see 11 to 19 cents yeah it's about a 63 percent return I don't know it's kind of what I'm looking for oh they didn't get a free ad kind of what I'm looking for in the next uh, maybe like a month or so on anchor if the market stays good um, if not you know this this could go poopy um, and, and when, if it goes poopy I might, I might be looking at it too uh, <laughs> yeah, crypto is weird all right lastly XLM this one's actually kind of impressive uh, especially when you compare it to the anchor chart that we were just looking at um, the anchor chart uh, gives you expectations of what the XL, what XLM will do, but XLM actually, um, interestingly enough, is uh, pushed and is sitting around this, uh, sitting around the 65 cents mark, which is uh, still above its trend line. Um, XLM uh, doing doing quite well. Um, which makes me wonder about, you know, I mean, obviously there's a couple things you can wonder about here and let's see if it'll give me the, give me the right chart and there we go. No ads. They finally got it. All right. Let's take a look here at, and I know I did another update where I was like, oh, we'll probably range for a while. Looks like we pretty much did exactly that. Wow, this chart's been good. This chart has been awesome. <sighs> yeah, it's... I mean, I think we're still, we're, we're in between here. I'm buying down here and probably unloading above here. Um, Bitcoin's just too volatile. Um, like we could, we could see Bitcoin go to like 20,000 in a day. Um, it's not going to go to 25. We could see it go to 20,000 in a week. There we go. Um, but this is what I find so interesting right here is you look at this Bitcoin drop. And XLM has kind of outperformed it by quite a bit, um, and and performed in an inverse relationship, which is not true of something like Anchor. Uh, we'll take a look at that on here, which has kind of paired with Bitcoin. Let's see if I can add. Let's add like Anchor. Yeah, anchor tether. All right, so obviously when anchor guy added to Coinbase, it went wild. Um, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't need the tether. Let's actually take that off. It makes this chart really ugly. So here, you know, you see this sort of correlation between Anchor and Bitcoin, but Lumens is doing its own thing, which is kind of interesting. Uh, might be, you know, if Bitcoin goes back up, this might really say that this is about ready to explode, um, which could be awesome. Um, let's see. Let's get this stuff off here and see if I have any like high targets on Lumens start thinking about one I do not hmm. yeah, yeah honestly I mean if we stay bullish this might be something to think about is what what is the top for lumens 
you know, where do we go from here? And this, this could be, you know, j just the beginning of a lumen spike. It's so odd that, you know, lumens is out er, is outperforming so many other cryptos right now. Um, because if you go look at, I mean, if you have charts drawn similar to how I have them drawn, so many cryptos are below this trend line. Um, and it's it's kind of wild. I mean, I guess it's something we'll update in the next couple of days. Um, but that's going to be it for us today. You know, nice reminder here at the end, you know, we're not a financial advisor. We're not a licensed financial advisor. We don't claim to be a licensed financial advisor. It's not the intent of the videos. We're here to explore crypto news and education. And frankly, we just like making charts with the community. So if you like those things, you know, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, drop the like, hang out, uh, ignore my lack of flash and marketing value, and, you know, let me know what's up. So thanks for dropping by. Have a good one, folks.